We're out here today at the range. We're going to sight this Savage 93 R17 and get it ready for groundhogs. We're at the range today. We're going to sight in several several rifles. We're going to get ready for groundhog hunting. So we got this one, which is Brad's. Savage uh, 93R17. And then we got a couple 1022s, yep. Rugers. Ruger 1022s. And Brad also brought his uh, AR-15, Palmetto State AR-15. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna knock some groundhogs down this year. Watch that. Sorry about the shooting. But that's a good range. All right, so we're going to sight in this 17. Uh, we're going to tell you we're going to use these Federal 17 HMRs. What are they? Uh, 17, 17 green. Got some groundhog hunting coming up, so we'll make sure it's on. Let's get started. Yeah, don't, don't shoot my phone. <laughs> Please don't shoot my phone. Gotcha. I hope it's not off that much. I think you're going to hit my phone. It was on last year. Let's see how it goes this year. Why we come out here and uh, sight it in? Let's go see. So I took the first five shots. You know, it was sighted in last year, but I just shot five shots now. It was about three inches to the right, and about two inches high. So I have to make some adjustments. Better. Man, you want to walk down and check it out? Yeah. All right. Uh, I made a couple adjustments for the first shot. Uh, I think it's like five and four. I hit another one over here. Probably that one there. So I made another adjustment with like about ten clicks to the left and about ten clicks to the down. Kind of brought it over here. So I still got, got another. Was that three quarters, half an inch? Another inch over? Yeah. All right, let's go make some adjustments. All right. Good. 
Good? Yeah, you want to get, you want to fire this? I'll wait till we get out to 100. Sounds good. All right. Let's go check these out. I'm on. Is that about 20, 20 shots? A little bit of adjustment. So I think the 17's ready. Good. And we all we gotta do is the 22s. Yep. We might just be using the two vehicles, your AR and your 17. Yeah, right there. You said we want a little bit of high. This yeah. is at 40 yards, so. We'll put the target up at a hundred too. Double check everything. Yep. So. All right. We got two other targets up here. We're gonna sight the twenty twos in now. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna sight the. We got the seventeen dialed in at forty yards. Now we're gonna try to dial this Ruger ten twenty two in at forty yards. And today I'm shooting the uh, CCI twenty two long stingers at 1640 feet per second so and i don't know about the mask but i believe the masks are required right now at, at my range so. there we go that's in all right we're locked and we're loaded hold on Turn the lights out. We're hot. We're hot. Let's see. Okay. I am shooting high to the right, so I'm going to adjust it after three shots. Nope, nope still got to move it over. Think you're out. I think I'm out. We gotta move it over. Yep, there we go. All right, after several several adjustments, my windage left and right, I'm dead center. So I'm shooting high. Um, I think, yeah, I'm shooting one, two inches high at 40 yards. So I'm going to take this and we're going to move this over to a hundred yards and we'll see where it shoots from there. Well, we got two more to, to sight in. So let's get this one out of the way and get the next one. All right. When I first started out with the 22, I was aiming down here. This was my group, so I'm a high to the right. So I spun it, came all the way over. Apparently I was off paper and I started to bring it back. Now I'm hitting here. So I'm gonna take it over to a hundred yard and we'll see. Get this pull back and
Let me get this to engage. I don't know. Not my gun. This, see how, see how it shifts? Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. That's locking it. It's a lock, yeah. Let me see here. Let's show people. Go ahead. So that's locked? Yep. Okay. So pull this back and unlock oh. it. Shifts that forward. Okay. Cool. All right, so here I got a 10, a 1022. It's got a Marlin 3 to 7 by 20 scope uh, that I just put on, so I had no idea where this thing was shooting. I, uh, I wasn't even on paper. So after a lot of adjustments, we got this thing grouping about inch and a half, two inches above at 40 yards. So we're going to leave it here and shoot out to 100. See where we're at. All right, so we've got the other 1022 out. Okay. We're gonna sight this one in, make sure it's ready too. All right. <laughs> All right. We got one in the chamber now. <laughs> I was just testing trigger pull. Shooting high. Pretty high. But you're on paper with this one. Yeah, dead center. Chill. Sure. Ten clicks. Come down again. Ten more clicks. Stay there though. Yeah, I can't really see where it went. I think we want that to go back. Let's put on eight. Back up. You said we wanted this to shoot high at 40 yards? Yeah, a little bit. So we got this Ruger 1022 sighted in about inch, two inches high at 40 yards. Very little of adjustment. I already had this sighted in from last year, so still pretty pretty on from last year. So time to break out the AR. Let's go. All right. All right, so the other day I saw a video on YouTube. A uh, guy made a paracord pull for a bipod. So the way it works, it's got a cobra weave and it attaches on both legs of the bipod. You just press down on one and it pulls it down. So again, it makes it a little more efficient to get it up. You just pull the same pull cord and no, much more efficient getting it up and down. Hmm. Are you jealous, Russell? I need one. I need two. $50. Uh. Bastard. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Shoot 
So I guess just to give a little Ten round mags in New Jersey. That's what we're allowed to shoot. Just to give everybody a little comparison. See what we're shooting today. We got this twenty-two. There's a seventeen. There's a two two three. Not sure which one we're going to use for groundhogs, but as long as these rifles will be sighted in. That one. Two, two, three. So, any of these 30 round mags, you got to block them. Only accepts 10 rounds. That's New Jersey rule. Communist. Bunch of communists. I like shooting these because it's not my gun, it's not my ammo. You gonna let me shoot it, Bobby? Yes, sir. All right. There we go. Let's try and get on target first. Yeah, let's see where it's shooting. special just iron sights no i am going to shoot you're going to shoot the target that my phone is on yeah the one on <laughs> my right. camera yeah center right oh jesus my headphones didn't work <laughs> hold on Oh, safe. My headphones ain't working. Center. You ready? Yeah. All right, it's going hot. Not be using this for groundhogs. That's loud. Yeah, I know. I told you. Damn, we're gonna wake all the neighborhood up. It might be shooting uh, to the left. I think I'm hitting um like nine o'clock. There we go. Ready? Another one. Alright, so just to double check, I'm going to shoot the top center. What'd you say? Where, where, are, you, where are you aiming at? 40 yards? Yeah. Where, where'd you say this was? It's shooting to the left, like 7 o'clock. Nine o'clock, so right around Shooting there. Shooting to the left. Yeah. Seven o'clock. So yep. it's low. It's just shooting to the left. Where's the safe? Okay. Thumb. Got it. I don't know if there's any rounds in there. <laughs> hey, it didn't even, it had a nice recoil to it. Yeah. 
It's a Palmetto State AR-15 with the Magpul. A little louder than my 22, though. You know, they got a 22 conversion kit for that. You guys got to check some videos out on YouTube on that one. But yeah. Cool. Nice. We're going to shoot at the left 100 yard target. All right. All right. This is the 17. Hope my eyes are good. Okay. You should load it and take the thing out and close the bolt before you try pulling the trigger. <laughs> That thing. Oh, please don't hit my phone. There we go. We're hot. Oh. Okay. All right. Now that I'm on, I'm definitely going for that phone. So it looks like we're zeroed in at 100 yards. Yep. All right, now I'm going to raise that up a little bit. Why? Because it's a 200 yard gun. How high it's your gun. Range. All right, so Russell's going to shoot 100 yards. Ruger 1022. Turn my shit up. Yeah. I have a Simmons uh, 6 to 18 power by 44 mil. So we'll see. My 40. Focus it. It's got a side focus. Oh, this thing is so sweet. All right, here we go. About four inches high. Quarter inch. About four inches. That'd be 16 clips. I'm going to go 12 clips. Gone it. Now load up some more. We're gonna pause and load up. Shooting the AR at 100 yards. Shoot the right target. Iron sights. Let's see. Yeah, shoot the far right.
things just echoing off this metal. All right, I'm I where I was hitting. But these are the 1640s. The stingers? Yeah. And then it started, I got it. These were my first groups. Then it came down here. And then it started wandering. So I probably got to got a wire, run a wire brush through it and uh, clean it up. And he'll probably pull it back in. So I'm going to try that. Here's the AR with the iron sights. Five shots on there. Still shooting left. You can bring it over to the right a little bit. All right. So we were all dialed in. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm happy with it. So hopefully we get out there and see some groundhogs real soon. And uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe tab. Click that bell. And hit that thumbs up. And uh, as always, thanks for watching Adventures with Papa. So I made a couple adjustments to the AR iron sights, the flip up, flip up sights. Came down and uh, got some new grouping. I took three shots and uh, it pulled it right in. Take a look. All right. So this was previous shot, made the adjustment. Well, previous shots, one, two, three, four, five. Made an adjustment, one, two, three. Shooting pretty good. I got a Ruger 1022. You get it dialed in, then you throw the same rounds in it. And now it's all over the place. I wire brushed it out and I still can't shoot. I put in cheaper rounds and it grouped. I put in the more expensive rounds, the better rounds, and then I don't even know that one even on paper. I was aiming at this one. And there's there, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing here and here, possibly. That was your, your ammo? Yeah. Maybe here, too. This here is all your ammo. And then I dialed it in and hit here, and now it's all over the place again. Looks like you owe me about $50 in ammo. Yeah. I got another box at home. I was shooting at this one here. I think I'm pretty good though. I'm gonna go over here to the 100. Let's see what mine looks like. Must be operator error. Yeah, it's always the operator. No, it's not. I'm sorry, it's the equipment. Equipment failure? It's the equipment. 